If you went up to a hundred random people and asked them what they think is the coolest fictional movie car of all time, you'd probably hear the same three or four answers over and over again. The DeLorean from Back to the Future, Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, James Bond's Aston DB5, and maybe a few Chitty Chitty Bang Bangs. Well, in this video, we're not talking about any of those cars, because while they are undeniably iconic, truth be told, they're little more than real-world cars with a few bits of plastic added on. For this list, we're taking a look at 10 fictional movie cars that were designed from the ground up for the film they starred in, with one exception, but we'll get to that later. And if we miss your favourite car, make sure to let us know in the comments. Number 10. Audi RSQ iRobot Detective Spooner's futuristic Audi featured prominently in 2004's iRobot, and it's best remembered for having awesome spherical wheels, enabling it to crab from side to side. This is very useful for smooth lane changes, and for shaking evil murder bots off your car. The coolest thing about the RSQ? It bears an uncanny resemblance to the Gen 1 Audi R8, even though the movie predates the R8 by two years. That's because both the R8 and the RSQ were based on this the Audi Le Mans Quattro, a concept car that was debuted in 2003. Number 9. Lightning McQueen – Cars We'd probably have an angry mob at our door if we didn't throw everyone's favourite animated racing car on this list. Fun fact, almost every character in Cars is based on a real-world car, except for Lightning McQueen. It's said that he was originally intended to be a Corvette, but Pixar and Chevy couldn't come to an agreement, so he ended up being a sort of mishmash of several different cars. And if you want to hear in more detail exactly which bits of him come from which cars, we actually made a whole video about that a while back, featuring our very own Mike Fernie and uh, some old bloke with long hair. Same thing. Yes. Number 8. Lexus 2054 Minority Report There isn't that much to say about this futuristic performance car from Steven Spielberg's 2002 sci-fi blockbuster. In truth, it doesn't even get much screen time in the movie. Its big moment is this scene in which Tom Cruise hides from baddies in the car as it rolls along the production line before escaping in it. But despite only making brief appearances, the Lexus 2054 deserves a place on this list simply due to the beautiful and unique design that Lexus came up with. A fun fact about this car, Lexus actually released a spec sheet for it, as they would a real production car, and as you can expect, it's an interesting read. Number 7. The Flip Car, Fast and Furious 6 Don't be fooled by the rear wheel steering and trendy light bar at the back. This is not the new Porsche 911. It's the flip car, driven in the sixth Fast and Furious installment by a generic, instantly forgettable English bad guy, Owen Shaw. The flip car was designed from the ground up for the movie, and the end product was fully functional. There's no sneaky CGI at play here. The flip car actually did flip cars. Looks-wise, it borrows its shape and proportions from an old-school Formula One racer, and, to complete the effect, a screaming V12 soundtrack was added in the edit, although in real life, the car was actually powered by a Chevy V8. Still cool though. Number 6. The Nautilus – League of Extraordinary Gentlemen A brief highlight in a mostly terrible film about a team of superhuman crime fighters. Stay back if you value your life. The Nautilus was the personal land ship of Captain Nemo, it has six wheels with the extra axle at the front and is over 20 feet long. Despite the small amount of screen time this car was given in the movie, the attention to detail of this bespoke build is seriously impressive. You can't help but think that if Donald Trump could drive around in this, he probably would. Number 5. The Light Runner – Tron Legacy When the original Tron film was released in 1982, these scenes of the Light Runners doing battle were deemed the most impressive display of visual effects to date. Then, 28 years later, the reboot once again raised the bar for special effects. Unlike most of the vehicles on this list, the Light Runner in Tron Legacy is not a lovingly hand-built prop. In reality, this scene was probably shot with an actor in a wetsuit sat on a green box in front of a green wall. Everything you see here is special effects, but then, this is a film about getting trapped inside a computer. 
so it seems fitting that the vehicles that star in it were digital creations, and very cool ones at that, featuring transforming wheels, and of course, the ability to leave a wall of neon death in its wake. Number 4. The Spinner Blade Runner Should we allow flying cars on this list? There was a big argument in the office about this. After all, when does a flying car become a spaceship? In the end, we decided we'd allow ourselves one. And of course, it had to be the spinner from the 1982 cult classic Blade Runner. Because 37 years after this movie's release, these scenes of Officer Deckard piloting his police car over a bleak yet beautiful dystopian Los Angeles are still just as breathtaking. And what's more, the design of the spinner was so perfect that pretty much every flying car in every sci-fi movie since borrows from it in one way or another. The spinner even gets a cameo appearance in Back to the Future 2. Number 3. The Police Cars THX 1138 Okay, we said we wouldn't allow anything that's just a real-life car with bits added on, but we felt we just had to mention this insane movie car, mainly because so few people seem to know about it. THX 1138 is a sci-fi movie made by George Lucas in 1971, and in this film, the futuristic police cars are made from Lola T-70s. These are fully functional Le Mans prototypes that were, only a year or two prior, competing against the likes of Porsche and Ferrari. Just imagine if in the next Star Wars film, Darth Vader showed up driving the Porsche 919 Evo. That's what this is like. So yes, we broke our no real cars rule to tell you that, but aren't you glad we did? Number 2. The Giga Horse – Mad Max Fury Road Frankly, we could have made an entire separate video about the hundreds of insane vehicles that were built for this movie. Sure, they're based on real-world cars, but they are modified beyond recognition, personalised to endure the post-apocalyptic world in which the story takes place. Nearly 200 fully functional vehicles were built for this movie, but surely the most impressive of them all is the Giga Horse, a monstrous contraption made out of two Cadillac Coupe de Ville's welded together combined with a set of monster truck tyres. It's one of the most insane props ever to be built for a movie, and like every car in the Mad Max universe, it perfectly matches the personality of the lunatic who drives it. Number 1. The Tumbler, The Dark Knight Trilogy I'll get my car. I brought mine. Yours. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. Batman has had a lot of iconic cars over the years. There was the Tim Burton Batmobile, perhaps the most recognisable. There was the original Batmobile, which was, well, the original. But for this list, there can only be one. And frankly, it absolutely has to be the Tumblr from Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Because as a sheer feat of engineering, it might be the most impressive vehicle ever built for a film. Nolan wasn't interested in using any CGI for his chase scenes meaning the design team were tasked with building a car capable of launching off buildings and crashing through concrete barriers over and over again, all while looking the part. And boy, did they deliver. The Tumblr is essentially a bespoke super tank, powered by a Chevy V8 that enabled it to go from 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds and reach a top speed of 100 miles per hour. But the coolest thing about the Tumblr is the fact that the entire trilogy of films was essentially designed around it. Christopher Nolan understood how important it was to get this new look Batmobile just right, to make sure it matched the grittier, more serious tone of his Batman films. So, the car was the very first item designed and built for Batman Begins, and everything else, the costumes, the gadgets, even the Batcave, were designed to match the look of the car. That is why it's the best Batmobile, and that's why it's the coolest fictional movie car ever. What would you add to our list of movie cars? Do you agree with our number one pick? Let us know in the comments below.